in this, in this example, we are going to create a personal database for an organization. And here are the business rules. A department employs many employees, and but each employee is employed by one department. Uh, our first task is to identify the entities and by, by looking at this one you can easily see department and employees are sticking out as uh, entities. Then the next thing you're going to focus on is the relationship. A department employs many employees and which refers to a one-to-many relationship from department to employee side. Another part of the relationship is each employee is employed by one department which is a one-to-one -one relationship and resulting relationship is going to be one to many from department to employee. Next business rule is some employees may not be assigned to any department. Again this uh, second business rule provide additional information for the first business rule in terms of the relationship between department and employee because we can see some optionality here. Some employees may not be assigned to uh, a department so if you look at the one to one relationship between the employee and department Again, department side seems kind of uh, <coughs> optional. Some employees may not be assigned to a department. Third business rule is division. A division operates many departments, but each department is operated by one division. Again, first thing is to identify the entities, which is division and department. We have already created the department entity as part of the first business rule. And the sec uh, third entity now we have is a division. A division operates many departments so there is a one-to-many relationship from division to department. Each department is operated by one division meaning there is a one-to-one -one relationship from department to division and the resulting relationship is going to be one-to-many. Just keep in mind that to establish a relationship between two entities you need to have two relationships. Uh, two, uh, relationship one from the from one entity to another one and other relationship describes the from entity B to entity A so then then you'll have a resulting relationship so it has to be bi-directional other uh, fourth business rule is that an employee may be assigned to many project a project may uh, have many employees assigned to it so in here you are seeing again employee and project as entities. We have already an employee entity and now new one is a project. Since an employee may be assigned to many projects, we are seeing a one-to-many relationship from employee to project. And another one, a project may have many employees assigned. Again, you are seeing another one-to-many relationship, this time from project to employee. Then the resulting relationship is going to be many-to-many. Since when we, we have, since we identified a many-to-many -many relationship, we need to keep in mind when we are uh, developing our ERD, we need to uh, break this relationship uh, and create a kind of a bridge entity for uh, in between. A project must have at least one employee assigned to it, so there is this requirement. Again, the, we don't see that optionality part. So a project must have at least one employee assigned to it. One of the employees manages each department and each department is managed by one employee. Again, we already identified this uh, employee and department uh, entities in, uh, in the first business rule, but we are seeing some additional information here with regards to that relationship. There is another one-to-one -one relation because an employee manages each department one-to-one -one, and each department is managed by only one employee and another one-to-one. -one. When you are seeing this kind of one-to-one -one relationship, Again, uh, there might be additional relationship between entities as opposed because we have identified a one-to-many relationship, yet we are identifying another one-to-one -one relationship. Also, when you see this kind of one-to-one -one relationships, you may want to think about uh, recursive relationships uh, because like when you create a kind of employee table, some might be managers and etc. So just uh, keep those things in mind. One of the employees runs each division, and each division is run by one employee. Again, another similar to the department. Basically, we have a department manager and we have a division manager. So those are managers, those people are managers, as well as uh, employees. So there is that relationship. Let's briefly review all the relationships that we have in this uh, 
business rules. So we have department to employee, which is one to many, employee to department one to one, and resulting relationship is one to many. And same thing for the others. So these are the resulting relationships that we need to pay attention to when we are developing our ERD.